Hey everybody, this is Rex Bear with Leak Project. I hope you're having a nice day today. It is low radiation levels at 0 0.09 microsieverts per hour. I am in an undisclosed location and I will be going home shortly. It's been a nice clandestine tour. Um, I had an interview last night with Scott from the Astronomy Live channel and Scott from the Nibiru Planet X 2016 channel. Now, Scott had presented a image that he says was given to him by a 70-year-old astronomer in Chile that took it from an observatory. Well, when this image was put into some specific software, Scott from the Astronomy Live channel was able to pinpoint that specific image was actually uh, taken from somebody that does astrophotography and it was manipulated. Now, with that said, Scott from the Nibiru channel very well could have been given that information from somebody that claimed they were an astronomer at an observatory in Chile because that kind of stuff happens on a regular basis with a leak project. I get so many emails and images and information that people claim to be legit or from something in particular when oftentimes it is not. As a matter of fact, <laughs> I did an interview a couple of months ago, a few months ago, actually, with this person. I'm not going to say who it is. I'm, that's not what I'm about. But during the interview, this person claims to be, uh, you know, a genius with computers and satellites and supposedly has worked with NASA and SOHO and has all the, the backdoor codes to get into this kind of stuff. And I've even had people request to get this person on the show on Leak Project. And I did an interview with this person. And this person was claiming that the sun was actually an artificial construct and inside of the sun was circuitry and circuit boards and stuff. So I went with it and then this person showed me a drawing, literally a drawing of circuit boards and said that that was a picture that was taken from NASA from the inside of the sun. So, I mean, there's a lot of kooks out there. There's a lot of them. And there's a lot of people that are just trying to get attention and doing whatever they can to get some exposure. I get it. Some people are lonely. I feel bad for them. Some people have to make shit up, I guess, in order to get limelight. I'm not for that. I'm not about that. But I'm not going to judge that person. That's them. That's not me. What I will say is the reason I had to pull that podcast with Scott and Scott is because one of the images that was the, the main image, actually, that was dissected and, and broken open and, and shown that it wasn't the Nibiru system, but actually something completely different, um, the person that took that image first said that I could use it, and then when he found out how many subscribers I had, I guess, he, he changed his mind pretty quick. I even offered him money. I offered him airtime, and um, I don't know. It, it was really weird. The guy started throwing a fit about it and, and making a big stink, so I said, look, if you're, if, you're, if you're upset about it and if you're not okay with it now, I'm just going to pull the video. I don't need any drama. The guy started threatening suing me after he was really nice to me, it was, just, it was really weird, man. I, I don't even think the guy understood what I was telling him, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's not worth it to me to have somebody go after me because of a picture that he claims is copyrighted. And actually, I did the research on this, you guys. And, and, and in reality, when you are discussing a specific image that is copyrighted, as long as you're not using that image specifically, then... There's a lot of people out there and a lot of news out, you know, news institutions out there that will take images and talk about it, even though it's copyrighted by somebody else. I'm not going to deal with the drama. So until I get this person to agree that he's not going to go after my channel because of an image that would actually give him some great coverage, if anything, it would be very good for him. I mean, the guy's a writer, too. So I even offered him an opportunity to come on the show, express his information, tell us about astrophotography, about what he does. But I just don't think he understood it. I don't think he got it. So we're working on that. That is why I had to pull the video, and I wanted to give you the explanation. So I can do one of two things. I can go back and edit that picture out of the video, but that picture was, how do I put it? The way that Scott from the Astronomy Live channel dissected that image, in my humble opinion, I don't think there's any denying where that image came from. I think that was a very big part of the discussion, but I can do one of two things. I can either blur the image and re-release it, or I can just completely take it out, or we can wait until this gentleman might come to a different conclusion and be okay 
with us sharing an image of his that he that he took. So anyway, that's where we're at. The radiation levels are at 0 0.09 microsieverts per hour. And I did want to share, now this is kind of spooky actually. So I'm in an undisclosed location. Nobody knows where I am. Nobody. And the only way somebody could track me is either GPS on my phone, uh, you know, my credit cards or my computer. Well, last night I, I leave the hotel, I'm walking downtown and I'm in a mid-sized city and there's not a whole lot of people out. It's a real nice, clean city. You know, literally in the, in the city center downtown, I walk to the coffee shop, which is a little over half a mile away. And as I'm walking to the coffee shop, I, I notice in the corner of my eye a, a fully jet black, brand new Jeep Cherokee with tinted windows. And, and you know how you kind of get that feeling sometimes when somebody's looking at you from behind? You kind of get that sense in the back of your head. You can just tell somebody's looking at you. You turn around, you see somebody staring at you. I, I got that exact same feeling. I let it go. I just, you know, no big deal. Yeah, all right. So I walked to the gas, not the gas station. I walked to the coffee shop, get a cup of coffee, and then I leave. And walk back to the hotel. As I'm walking back to the hotel, I, I get that same sense in the back of my head. I turn around. Sure enough, it's, a, it's the same black Jeep Cherokee with tinted windows. And it, it's driving really, so I turn around, and, and the thing's driving really slow. And then I, I kind of look at him, and then it pretends to start backing up into this parking spot. Because, you know, on the side of the road, you could, there's, there's a few cars there parked on, on the side of the road. And so it starts to act like it's backing up, and it's going to park behind one of the cars. So I just keep walking, and I, I could tell something was up. I could just sense it. You know, my spider senses were tingling. So there was an alleyway that I, that I turned into the alleyway. And as I walk into the alleyway, I turn around, and I'm like, just wait, this guy is going to drive past. Well, sure enough, about 15, 20 seconds later, the guy just creeps by. As I'm staring at him, he's creeping by really slow. And then he notices me looking at him, and he drives off. So, hey, maybe it's just some crazy dude. Maybe I'm just paranoid. And you know what they say, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not after you. Hey, if I caught somebody's attention, maybe that's a good thing, right? <laughs> anyway, that's what happened. That was my story last night. And please, you guys, let me know what you want me to do with this video from Astronomy Live and the uh, Planet X Nibiru 2016 channel. Hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are. The skies are nice and blue out here where I'm located. Be the change you want to see and question everything.